What happens when a bulldog raspy cricket and a whistling tarantula come to blows? There are no holds barred. If you're an insect, you enter the grassy bushland of the bulldog raspy cricket at your peril. It's the stormtrooper of the bug world. Compared to the raspy cricket, other crickets are pushovers. These guys are just nasty. Bulldog raspy crickets are very fierce fighters. They launch themselves at the prey with the aim of just cutting it to pieces. The raspy cricket is built to kill. Two massive compound eyes. Heavily armored thorax. Front legs bristling with deadly spines. And mandibles that cut through prey like a chainsaw. The raspy cricket's mandibles are just plain deadly. It can tear apart pretty much anything. Snip, off comes a leg. Snip, off comes the head. The bulldog raspy cricket is the consummate killer. But it doesn't have the killing fields to itself. Nearby, there's a menacing murderess. A tarantula. Not someone you choose for your babysitter. Known as whistling tarantulas. This is caused when they rub their mouth parts, causing kind of a rattly, hissy sound, which makes them seem more frightening. The terrifying death rattle is backed up by two monstrous fangs. Tarantulas have fangs that strike downward. These fangs are really quite large, as much as a third of an inch long, which is on the order of a number of different snakes. And so this is enough to do real damage. She's highly attuned to passing prey. She doesn't hear them coming. She doesn't have ears. What she does have is hundreds of sensory hairs that pick up vibrations in the air. And the whistling tarantula has another early warning system. She lays a thick bandage-like alarm bell with two huge spinnerets that act like web-weaving fingers. creating an elaborate first line of defense. She waits at the entrance of the burrow. And one of the advantages of silk coming out from the burrow is that it helps provide sensory information or vibratory information as prey walks by and touches the silk. This regular cricket was easy meat. But what happens when the whistling tarantula faces a much nastier bulldog raspy cricket? A fight between these two could go either way. I think the raspy cricket will try to use brute force to overpower the tarantula and get in a damaging bite before the tarantula can sink its fangs in and deliver the venom. It often holds true in the bug world that attack is the best form of defense. So while the raspy cricket chows down on its latest kill, the murderess launches a surprise attack. The cricket lashes out with its spiked legs. 
the tarantula retreats with good reason. She's missing a leg. She heads for home to lick her wounds and mend her web. She'll go into the burrow and then cover up the entrance of the burrow and seal it up so essentially predators aren't able to get in while she's in the burrow and while she's relatively incapacitated. But the bulldog raspy cricket has developed a taste for spider drumsticks. It's stalked its injured victim to her home. But she's down, not out. A massive body kick sends the killer cricket reeling. But the cricket is nobody's football. Each combatant has scored a blow. Now it's really on. One of them is going to die. If that raspy cricket gets its strong jaws onto the soft-bodied tarantula, the tarantula is absolutely done for. So it's really a battle of timing and speed here. The stormtrooper is back, madder than ever. It flushes the tarantula from her burrow. She makes a break for it. But the raspy cricket's mandibles shear through the tarantula like colossal bolt cutters. Once they start biting the prey, they sit cross-legged with their arms locked together, forming a spite cage that the prey has little chance of escaping from. The murderess has met her match. She's not just eaten. She's torn apart. Few creatures leave such a bloody battleground. <laughs> 